Welcome back Wealth Giants to another episode. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about GameStop and all the other companies just like it that are just going to the moon right now. You know, it's awesome and all. But I want to share with you guys, especially since some of you guys are newer to the stock market, I want to kind of give this to you so that you can avoid making a mistake, losing 41% of your money like GameStop did yesterday. And hopefully this helps even more seasoned investors because, you know, this is a really complex kind of thing and I want to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about this. This actually all began when I saw an article on CNBC talking about some reasons why the rally for GameStop could come to an end real quick. And one of these reasons really stood out to me. It wasn't necessarily that the company is a bad company, it's going out of business anyway, and that's the reason why everybody was shorting it. But this is actually something a little bit more complex and it's why the stock price went up. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, it went up because of a short squeeze. Basically, all the people had to cover their positions, causing the price to go up because people kept buying, causing the inflation of the stock price to go up because the supply and demand was all out of whack. Now, yes, that is true, but there is a specific kind of purchase that was going on that was really amplifying the stock price to go up. Now this is called a call option. Now call options are kind of more complex, especially for newer investors now, seasoned investors as well. It's kind of a complex topic. So let's cover real quick what a call option is. So Jack, my boy, has 100 shares of company and he's like, yeah, I got these shares. Right now they're trading about $20 a share, you know? So the strike price is gonna be automatically $20. Rose here, she's like, Jack, I want them shares, you know? So let's let's do a little trade. And he's like, well, awesome. Uh, it's $20 a share. And she's like, well, I don't want to take on all the risk right now. So let's go ahead and do an options trade. I'll do a call option. He's like, well, okay. So this gives Rose the right to buy the shares at a strike price by the specified date. Keep this in mind. There is a deadline, specified date. However, she is not obligated to buy them on that date. Well, Jack's like, well, that's awesome and all. I could sell them to you for the strike price right now in the future, but it's going to cost you a premium. So Jack says the premium is $2 per share. Rose is like, okay, well, here's $200. $200 because there's 100 shares in the contract and it's $2 per share. So $200 comes out of her pocket to Jack and that is Jack's money from here on out. Now, in order for Rose to make some money, she has to keep it at its strike price, but also add on the premium. So $22 to even break even, okay? Not a profit to break even. So the stock price has to be greater than $22 in order to make profit. So if it goes up to $23, that's $1 gain per contract. So that's $100 total. If it goes up to $24, that's $200. If it goes up to $27, that's $500. But if the stock price goes below $22, this kind of kicks in the, you are not obligated to buy the shares of that company. So she just loses the premium of $200. It's gone forever. She cannot get it back, but she mitigated the loss of the stock price going down in value. So she kind of did some good. So that is a call option. So that's basically how a call option works. That's the bone dry definition of it all. You know, there's more details than that, but that's basically what you need to know to understand what I'm going to show you right now with regards to GameStop and how to mitigate risk when investing in these kind of companies. Now, do I recommend putting money into these companies? Not really. When they're on the verge of bankruptcy, it's good to just avoid them altogether. But if you're wanting that huge, massive thrill of making a lot of money at one time, eh, go for it. It's on you though. Now let's talk about this. So this is what this article was talking about that I really caught my attention and I looked it up and I was like, whoa, that's amazing. And this will help everybody avoid and mitigate the risk and help you know what kind of risk you're getting into. So let's look at the call options for GameStop right now, or at least at the time of recording this. So GameStop at the time of recording this, okay, it was at $189 per share. And let's look down, and as you can see down at the bottom, you got the call options, okay? Call options, uh, and then you're gonna look at the ask bullish, okay? And these are the premiums. So as I said, you know, you're paying $2 per share. In this case, you're paying $88.5 per share. And the strike price just right to that is $165. 
but let's also look at the due date. Okay, so there's four days until these expire, meaning that if you're not above whatever that price is, you lose all your money, which is gonna be you know $8,850 per contract. So doing this can be very, very high risk if it does not go up. And that is like 25, 30% uh, right there that they have to increase that stock price by in order to even break even. Break even, not make a profit, break even. So here's the deal though. This is the main, this is the biggest thing of all. The strike price and the premium. What do you notice? So if you take 165 and divide it by two, that is $82.50. That is practically the premium on the stock. So basically what's happening here is people have to pay 50% of the stock strike price in order to even do a call option on this company. And it doesn't even matter if they make it to the strike price, they have to go all the way up to like $253 in order to break even. That is a massive jump for something that's due in four days. Now keep in mind, stocks do not typically go up that much in four days. I mean, GameStop, it had its rally, but people are probably gonna see this risk and be like, mm, I'm not so interested anymore. Especially since that's the main, one of the main reasons why the stock price went up anyway. So that there is something you should look at when you're looking at companies like this, is what are the call options looking like? What exactly is the risk factor in buying call options? Because that's what's really making these stock prices rally, is the call options not only the short sellers and the short squeeze. So that's pretty much how the call options work and this is why it's good to look at the call options, especially for companies that are extremely volatile and high risk because if the premium is super expensive and it's unlikely that it's gonna get to where they even break even to begin with, there's a good chance nobody's gonna be buying these and therefore the stock price will probably go down. It's not a guarantee, but don't take my word for it. I'll leave the link to the article in the description down below. You can check it out, make your own call. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Please consider smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you stuck around this long, you probably enjoyed it, I hope. Anyways, also, if you wanna see more videos like this, please consider hitting that ugly mug over to my right, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.